I'm here with my great friend Jimmy, and uh, he is in the middle of a little project. Jimmy, what are you trying to accomplish here? Well, as you know, I mean, some of the colors, the new colors that have come out, don't include a color called Reef Blue. R-E-E-F Blue. Um, and when I bought this, I really, it wasn't available to me, so um, I was going to trade it in for a Reef Blue, but they don't make it anymore, so we're going to take the tins off and we're going to paint them. Okay, so you're, so, okay, so you're taking the rear fender off, you're taking the gas tank off, you're yeah. taking a couple of side panels right. off, and you're taking the front fender off. Take a look over there, we got the front fender off. Two solid cover plates. Everything comes off pretty easy, but uh, these are just like cover plates. Mm -hmm. And you're going to paint this sucker yourself. I am. <laughs> that is well, awesome. That is awesome. So you, all right, so you had uh, about three and a half gallons still remaining in the tank. No, uh, we just took two gallons out, so maybe we got about a gallon and a half. Left. Okay, so, all right, so you, so you ran it down to like a gallon. Yeah, maybe a gallon and a half right now, and we're going to pump that out too. So how did the uh, disassembly go of uh, pretty good. the parts? Yeah, the parts uh, came up pretty easy. The tank is going to be the challenge. But once once that tank is di disconnected, now it, sh it should be a one-man job lifting it off. Once it's empty, of course. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to come over here and take a look at the uh, at the parts. Go ahead. You know what? So you, so you, so you you did a little bit of sanding. Uh, just where um, that has this clear protective film that was here that goes under the seat. But I'm going to replace this, but this was quite a challenge to take it off. Okay. So it left some residue of glue, which we used uh, a little goo, goo gone. Goo, goo gone, okay. Which worked right. out great. All right. But I, I did a little test sanding. And what, what's, uh, what grit sandpaper did this you This was 800 use? grit. 800 grit, and okay. I tell you what, I mean, I think from the factory, they don't, they don't put much paint on. You can see, I mean, I'm, I'm right down in, in through the color already. Yeah, you're right through down the clear the coat. Apparent metal. Easily. E it can went through easily. Yeah. Yeah, this is 1,000 grit. You can, even if I just do a spot, well, it's got a lot of dust on it right now. But, I mean, it It comes right down. Wow. I'm going to. Boy, it's, hard. it's almost effortless. Exactly. You would think from the factory they would have a thicker coat. A thicker clear coat. Wow, that's that, that that's amazing to me. Yeah. So uh, what's the next step now after you get the we're gonna gas? Take the tank off. We're going to finish draining the tank. Take the tank off. Then I'm going to make up. I'm going to make. I got this wood here. I'm going to make uh, little fixtures for each part to to stabilize it so it's easier to clean it, sand it, paint it, clear it. Okay, just so just for the viewers, um, so just to recap now, what we're doing here, what Jimmy's doing is he's going to go to Reef Blue, okay? Reef Blue is the color that he wants. Right now, obviously, he's got vivid black on there, so he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna, uh, do the job himself. And, um, and so hopefully you guys will be able to uh, get a couple of tips of course, Jimmy has a nice lift here, uh, which makes things a heck of a lot easier to do. Um, but, you know, go ahead, Jimmy. If, if anybody needs to take their tank badge off, which is pretty, it's a nice piece, heavy duty piece of metal. Is it? Um, it's actually done with a, a two-sided foam tape from the factory. Okay. And I should have probably saved this for you, but take a little fishing string, a little fishing line, and run it behind it and just saw it back and forth. Oh, okay. And it and it actually cuts it through. So you never used any heat or anything? Never used any heat. And then when I got this off, there was a lot of this, still this glue and adhesive on here. Yeah. And the goo gone took me about 15 minutes to clean that up. And you could see it's clean. It is. I mean, you can still see the shadow of the badge. Well, you're, you're going to see It's just going to be all sanded yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be painted. It's yeah, be painted absolutely. Over, so. So for anybody that needs to take a badge off, just use fishing, fishing line and just saw through it. Well, there you go. That's an excellent tip right there. Yeah. 
We had the uh, this rear screw. Yeah. The middle screw. These two screws just attach this part to this part, and then it was just a matter of a little bit of a wiggle, and it comes right off. But it's still attached by those wires, so. That's going to be the next step, disconnecting those. I don't know if we're going to disconnect them. We're going to leave this loose right now. As you can see, he uh, drilled down into his, uh, his floor, and he, and he put that, I don't know, one by three or whatever that is. One by four. One by four, and he, he, he secured that right to the floor to keep this jack from sliding. They don't give you a lot of room to work no. in there. What was the key with that? Was that up was and it? up and turn or? No, up and pull this out. Like a push and pull, we got that out now, if you could see that. Oh, okay, so it's just a nipple that goes in. Yeah, and it was maybe one drop of gas we lost. Actually, there's, a couple, there's some in this hose that wants to come out. Let me get another rag on that. They use so much Loctite on it, I guess it makes sense because of all the vibration. And you say it was the white Loctite? It looked like it was the white Loctite, but I'm not sure. And you ran into it more difficulty taking the front fender off yeah. than you did the back fender. Exactly. It looks like this front bolt looks like I think it's about a 3 8 16. This front one and the rear of the tank are the two main bolts that hold this, this fuel tank on. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it wants to come right off. Okay, okay so, so what is... Oh, it feels like there's a lot of gas in there still. Really? Okay, yeah. and and what what's, what if anything is still connected down there? There's a, there's it a looks couple... like the... Okay, I'm not a... sure if that's a vent, and it looks like the electrical connection for... Correct. This, this right I think here. that might be just a vent. It turns out uh, this does not disconnect from here. It's from here. It's just a push and pull to get this wiring out. I'm going to push it right back on if any fuel comes out of that. It comes off pretty easy. And, and now. And there we go. That's easy enough. All right, this is the uh, rest of the gas. There's a there, there's some plug. there's some uh, additional plugs underneath the tank. You can take those out. We took one of them out, and uh, the remainder of the gas is coming out. You know, again, this is my first time doing this, so uh, I'm just kind of winging it. But I don't want to hang the parts and paint them because then I got to move them around, and they'll be hanging upside down. I don't want to. I want to be able to see what I'm painting. So I made these temporary jigs or fixtures. They're just out of just regular two by three material wood, and uh, just screwed them together so they're nice and stable. I can I can actually move them around now without actually touching the part. And I went through the existing threads with just wood screws so that acts as masking too for the threads and uh, I'm going to do it for every part that we're going to paint. Now this one over here is for the tank which is pretty much just about done. Let's take a look see how it fits. So the tank is going to sit pretty much like that. I'm going to screw this down so now I can clean it, sand it, spray it, do what I have to do without actually ever touching the tank again. You know, it's not touching the threads at all. It's just, it's a smaller screw than the, for the threads. So that's just going to stabilize it. Mm -hmm. Right? So now I can do whatever I have to do to it. You know, we're not, we're not so concerned about the underneath. I'm not even going to paint the underneath. I'm going to go down probably just under where you couldn't be able to see it. Now, anymore. are you going to prime, the, uh, prime these tins or not? I don't think you have to, as long as I don't so, get so down to bare metal. If I get down to bare metal, I'm going to have to prime it, but I'm not going to get down to bare metal. I mostly want to just get the clear coat, the factory clear coat off, and into the black a little bit. 
And that's going to act as my primer right there. Okay. And then you're going to paint it. Then we're going to paint it. First, I'm going to paint it a light blue. If you want to take a look over here, you can see how they have, um, they have a pinstripe already in it from the factory. I'm going to try to duplicate that with a light blue. And then the rest of it will be the, the reef blue, the darker than that. And the way I'm going to do that is after I'm, I'm prepped and ready to go, I'm going to spray some light blue in that area. And then I'm going to use my pinstriping tape and replicate that. Now that'll be blue under the pinstripe, the light blue. Then I'll spray the rest of the tank, the darker blue, the reef blue. Then I'll peel that off. Now you'll have light blue underneath. Then I'll clear coat everything. So it should come out something like that, but the colors that we want. So even like, I'll be, I'll be painting stuff like this because I think you'll still see that. Yeah. This will all be painted. Like, of course, the underneath won't be painted, but we'll go a little bit under. It's a, it's a lacquer thinner. That's just to clean all of this dust off and any other oils that might be on it. But we're not going to use that before we spray. We're going to use uh, a different prep. And uh, you can see that over here. Made by Eastwood. Remove so, silicone, wax, polish, grease, and dirt. So this is yet again another cleaner. Correct. This will be going right before we spray it. Where'd you get this? From this company, Eastwood. I think they're up in Pennsylvania. You ordered it online, or ordered it online? Yes. You, so you yeah. ordered everything online right. through. What is it? Colorite. Uh, Colorite Paints. So Colorite was for the paint. Colorite Paints is in Pennsylvania. I think they're in Pennsylvania. I think all of these are in Pennsylvania. And this will be the clear coat that we're going to use. You can see there. The reef blue. The reef blue. There, there you go. That's exactly what you're after. And They've been in business a long time, color right. Yeah, these people don't mess around. This is, this is the right stuff for this project to work out. If, if people want to do it at home, I would suggest this is the right stuff to use. Okay, so what we did right now, this has been sanded already, and I went over it with a pre-cleaner. We wiped it down, then a tack cloth, and now this light blue is just going to be for the pinstripe. What we're going to do is, in a few minutes when that dries, we're going to lay the pinstripe down, and then over that, we'll clean it again. Over that, we're going to do the darker blue, and hopefully when we peel that pinstripe tape off, then we're going to have a nice dark blue with a thin pinstripe in light blue. I'm going to repaint this. It's going to be all painted in a dark color after this tape goes down. I got you. You're just doing the, where the, the stripe Right. Is. So gotcha. when I pull this, when I paint the darker yep. blue, yep. and then you peel this off, you'll see the light I blue know, under I, it. I know exactly. Yeah. That's kind of like what you know. Yeah. Really do. You can see how nicely it's been sanded. You get that angle, you can see how smooth everything's going to be. Should final product should come out pretty good. You want to get the edges first. The underneath of the edge, that's a nice looking color. That's the reef blue. Oh, it does have metallic in it. That's it for the first coat. Oh. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Does cover nice. Nice and smooth, right? Beautiful.
Very light coat, right? How about down the middle, top I'm middle? Do that right now. I'm gonna say that's a good first cut right there. I think the top middle needs one more, one more, one more square, one more apply. Yeah. Top middle. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Okay, this is before the clear coat.